Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode, what is this? A five, y'all. And I do a separate videos on all the couples. At the end of this video, you can see a link. And you can click on the picture and go to the next a video of the next couple. And I'm also going to put the links down in the description box. So, or the description or the comment box or something. You can just click on it and go there if you want to watch a video from another couple. But we are going to start talking about the first couple, which is Agena and Clint. First of all, I told y'all last week, a gloves are off. Agena threw the first shot. And I want to know uh, how are you going to come on a show and start talking about other people or when you got issues of yourself. Let me tell you something. I don't want to hear anybody telling me about um, Clint is shaming a natural body because we don't know that. We do not even know if this is Gina's natural body. It could be her after picture, y'all. It could be her after picture. How do y'all know that this is her natural body? Because we already know uh, them lips ain't natural. So how do we know that this ain't the after picture and that she went to a doctor and said, hey, uh, get, do something better for me. And he said, um, you know what? You ain't got much to work with and this is the best I could do. So how do you guys know it's her natural body? Uh, we can't trust it. Uh, we can't trust it. And I don't care if it's her natural body or whatever. Uh, the way she was shaming Clint, I'm team Clint now. I told y'all I'm, bounce I'm bouncing back and forth almost every week. And this week I am a team Clint. Gina took so many shots at Clint, it was ridiculous. Now, she's on the after party, y'all, uh, this week, and she's on the after party saying she wished she hadn't said the things she said. But guess what? It, it was said, and it revealed a lot about you. It revealed a lot about Gina. Okay, now we know why a Gina is a single. Gina's not only single because she likes to work, and the only thing she talks about is work and payroll. She's also single because she thinks she's better than what she is. <laughs> and she's rude AF. Let's say it, people. Let's say it. She's rude AF. And I told you from the very beginning, anytime I hear a woman say, uh, the reason why I've been unlucky in love is because men are intimidated by my success. I already know there's a problem. I already know she's done no self respect reflection. She's done no introspection at all. And she's pointing the finger this way continuously. And now I have enough evidence to know that that's who Gina, that's what Gina does. And that's who Gina is. Gina's on here taking all kinds of shots at Clint. Even when they went on this little hiking trip uh, to the jungle and Clint said, oh yeah, let's go walk down the jungle. I'm part Tarzan. Gina says, oh, I could tell by your complexion. Let me tell you, uh, gloves are off, people. Get her, Clint. Get her, get her, get her. Have no mercy on her soul. Maybe she'll learn a lesson during this Married at First Sight season. Maybe she'll learn a lesson and she won't continue this behavior out in public anymore. And then maybe she really, she really can go on to find love because we already know she ain't going to find love on this show. Not acting like this. Absolutely not. But maybe what we can hope for is she'll learn some lessons. We, you know what? We thought that Clint was going to be the Mitch of the season, but now we have figured out that it's actually Gina. Gina is actually the Mitch of the season. I mean, we know these two aren't attracted to each other, but let me tell you, their conversation is horrible. It's bland. They was on that bus for three hours lost, and they literally had nothing to talk about. <laughs> Gina talking about payroll. <laughs> Talking about business. I mean, it was just really superficial talk. There was nothing deep going on. It was almost a conversation you could have with a stranger on the bus, to be honest with you. They act like they was on public transportation and they just met a person. They start talking. There was no chemistry. There was no conversation. There was nothing. Gina says she really needs somebody who's patient and supportive because she's so independent. Um, you need more than that, Gina. You need a more than that. You need a man who is going to put up with your uh, BS, your rudeness, and your nasty comments. That's what I'm saying. Because if you don't know how to hold your tongue when there is something in front of you that you don't like, then guess what happens when you start getting arguments with mates or your mate does something that you don't like? You won't know how to hold your tongue there either. I'm telling you, when you don't know how to hold your tongue just because you don't like his red hair or ginger hair, and you can't hold your tongue down, you definitely ain't going to be able to hold it in a marriage when he actually starts uh, making you angry. This girl is a mess. She needs to get off this show and go do some work on herself. 
And I'm not talking about cosmetic work. I'm not talking about plastic surgery. I'm talking about a work on her insides. That's the type of work she really needs to do. She's talking about she needs a man who can handle her independence and not look at it as a negative. That ain't the negative, your independence. That ain't the negative. And first of all, Clint's had a good answer. Were are you ever used to a contributor? <laughs> He had a good answer. You know what's so funny? I'm actually starting to like a Clint a little bit better now than I did in the beginning. And I'm liking G uh, Gina a whole lot less. A whole lot less. Then Gina started talking about the reason why men were so insecure was because she's chasing her jeans, dreams. She makes up a whole lot of reasons why people don't like her. <laughs> she really does. Maybe people lie to Gina because she's paying them. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they don't want to tell her the truth because she's writing payroll checks and she's writing checks to people and they want, they don't want to tell her the truth. Well, guess what? Everybody out here, these married first sight fans, we're going to tell you the truth, Gina. Uh, no one's intimidated by your career. No one's intimidated by your job. Uh, no one's intimidated by the fact that you own a salon. None of that. Uh, what people don't like about you is you're rude. Okay. That you're rude. OK, and you think more of yourself than you do of others. And that's not attractive. And you talk uh, down to people and talk about people when you got flaws yourself. And that's what people uh, don't like about you. She said she don't like ginger man. She sat in front of that man's face and said, I really don't like ginger man. I'm not saying you unattractive, but it is what it is. So basically you're saying he's unattractive. Why did you need to say that? She was talking about how, because we were being transparent, we were saying these things, we were saying lots of things. That doesn't mean anything. No, don't believe it, don't believe it, and it's still not a good excuse. Uh, the way you went in on that man, he tried to take it like a champ, but you could tell his feelings was hurt, hurt. And now I completely understand why he's about to do this get back. He's about to do some get back, and he's about to come strong on it. And uh, Nicole, who we see in the clip, is going to take up for her a sit down, Nicole, a sit down, Nicole, because you don't you don't know what's been going on. You're only going to see that part, Nicole. You're not going to see what she was saying in the beginning. And second of all, I don't want to hear no more about this natural body. I really don't want to hear it because I'm not convinced it's all natural. Now I'm not convinced it's natural. I'm convinced that this is the after picture. I'm convinced this is the after picture. And just because it still looks not great doesn't mean it's natural. <laughs> it just means the doctors did the best they could and this was the best they could come up with. That's what it means. And this girl is a mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. But like I tell you right now, I'm on Clint's side and I can't wait to next week when we get the get back. I am ready up for the get back for Clint to go all in and I'm going to be on the sideline. I'm going to be doing some uh, Jasmine cheerleader flips because I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the get back. But that's it, y'all. Be sure to watch my other videos. Here are the links here. Click on them and watch my other videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.